Hello everyone, this is Johnny Orange and today I'm going to be playing Miltor 80's Pikes for part 2 of Who is Pike Boss? Who will it be? I don't fucking know. Probably no one. No one's a fucking Pike Boss. <laughs> now I've got to say so far Miltor 80's has been decent at playing Pikes. I'm not sure if he's the best though. I'm just not fucking sure on that one. If I was going to show favoritism, I would definitely say that Miltor 80's is the best. But I don't think that is the case. Even though I love this fucking dude, I don't think he's the best Pike Commander so far. My opinion might change by the end of the week. Who knows? There are a few things I do love about him though, is his ability to chase down range is bloody amazing. I'll give him credit for that. Unfortunately, those situations rarely come up. The range units are very protected. Oh man, see that shit? I did not fucking know <laughs> he could shoot me there. Lessons learned. But back to what I was saying, situations where you can simply chase down the ranged units are very rare in this game at the moment. People are definitely playing better, they're protecting their ranged units a lot more, which makes it harder for Miltai 80s. Now you do see me routing there, if I was Leonidas, this is what I mean, every time you play Pikes, you're like, if I was that other fucking commander, well I do fuck up here too, I'm fucking up all over the place. Time to get the fuck out of here. Luckily when that other sword unit did charge me, I could put my fear down and that would stop him from just hitting me up the rear. And it was all part of a ginormously fucking awesome plan of building up his confidence so he would charge me here into my pikes. That was all planned out from the get go. It was not random luck. <laughs> now back to Miltides himself. There are some things I really do love about him, and one I already mentioned was chasing down ranged units. The other one is he is pretty decent at protecting your own allies. I wouldn't go as far to say he's as good as Leonidas at protecting your allies, but he's definitely second best. With that fear ability, you can stop Cav from chasing down your ranged units, giving them that massive debuff to their speed. Very handy ability. And if it wasn't for that, he would be pretty sh fucking shit. Breaking ranks is also helpful. If you see your allies are getting chased down, you can get there quicker to help them with that speed buff. It also helps you chase down everything, basically. And then you have the charge ability, which does not work on Pikes. If it did, this guy, I'm pretty fucking sure, would take the lead of the best Pike Commander. But that is not the case. The charge does not work. Well, you know, you can't have fucking everything, can you? I am going to move ahead and try to take out their archers. They have caused a lot of havoc so far. And Miltides is not the best at taking range fire. He's good at chasing them down, but not good against Sean in the face. He doesn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. My ally is coming in here now, the allied swords. But I'm not going to raise my pikes because, you see, pike stats actually suck balls. It's the unit mechanics that make them so strong. So if I was to raise my pikes, I'm fucked. So instead of me getting fucked because my ally is making a mistake, I'm just going to leave my pikes down and he can eat shit. This is the way you have to play pikes, right? If you raise it every time your allies go in behind you, when you have your pikes down, uh, it's not good. <laughs> it's fucking shit. And you see this situation here, this is a perfect time to be Kainani. Press that rapid advance, kill all those archers. Unfortunately, I am not Kanani. But it is a decent situation. I can put some pressure on them. Hopefully get down to the archers and kill them. I think looking back on this situation, I would have been better to move up my other pike unit as well. I didn't want them taking archer fire though. The reason I say that is because I remember this bit. I remember fucking up this bit. <laughs> I'll show you... Something they did figure out the second time around. So I'm going to do the same thing, try to sneak in there, push into their archer units. But you'll see they've figured it out, they've figured the shit out. Now if the charge ability was available, I could charge up, get even closer before taking fire. Unfortunately it is not up, because I'm playing bikes. 
We get the formation down and then they just start retreating and letting the archers actually shoot me, which is a fucking good idea. Bit of a pain for me. I cannot raise my pikes because I'm not Leonidas, so I can't shield bash and then drop my pikes again. So I'm just going to have to eat shit. They played that bit very well compared to the first time round. They've learnt their lesson. And that's why I think I should have had a bit more patience there, or gone in with both units. But you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Fucking great! <laughs> the game is basically over at this stage. I've heard a lot of comments lately that uh, Pike Dancing is an exploit and Pikes are OP. I agree that they're fucking OP. I, I can definitely agree with that. And I probably brought up some of these points in the last video. But it has been a few days since I made that one. And, uh, yeah, I've... Man, Pikes are definitely very fucking strong at the moment. For a lot of reasons. Basically, the Kavanaugh's... I've fucking probably said this shit. Probably said it. The... It's hard to route people. That's helped them out a lot. Spears being fucking useless probably doesn't help kill Pike. I don't know, this is a fucking lot of shit. It's just equal this unit being the most strongest shit in the game. Now, how do I think they could fix it? People might disagree with me. People might agree with... I don't fucking know, cunt. Why are you even watching this video? <laughs> but, if I was a game developer, and I had all the control over how the balance is, what I'll do is I'll change... The Spears and Pikes fatigue, because Spears get fatigued, right? They tire out, and then after a while they're fucked if they stay in their stance. Or they have to retreat. What I think Pikes should have is a fatigue system, but where they can only have it down for a certain amount of time. The fatigue just keeps clicking up slowly and slowly, because they're so fucking heavy, you know? Or maybe just give the same fatigue system as the Spears already have. And I don't even think Spears are fucking strong enough to have a fatigue system, to be honest. They seem pretty fucking average to me. And I've got to say, here's a heads up. Once Pikes get nerfed, Roman infantry and possibly Vercingetorix infantry is going to be the fucking boss. That's if they don't change any of the other units. Lately, Cav has seemed fucking useless. I'm going, I hate Alexander Cav. I hate Alexander Kerr. I was one of the main people saying, Nerf that shit! Fuck that off! But then... They nerfed him too much, I gotta say, man. I don't even like the fucking unit. Way too nerfed. Way too nerfed. What's the point of fucking playing Alexander Kerr? And War Dogs. It's the same thing. Man, I don't see the point. Playing War Dogs at the moment. Seems like a pile of shit. I haven't tried the higher tier War Dogs. I have tried the higher tier Alexander Kerr. So I'm not certain that War Dogs don't improve at higher tiers. Maybe Fesh makes them way better. But as far as Alexander Cav, I have played them up to tier 7. Fucking shit. <laughs> like, what a waste of a commander. And people were asking to remove uh, Anvil. Man, remove Wedge. That shit is useless. Anyway, that's the end of the rant. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit and blah 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 and yay!